Welcome to History Hub, where we dive into the history that shaped the world. Today, we're exploring the fascinating history of gaming consoles, from the early days of Pong to the powerhouse systems of today. Our journey begins in the early 1970s with the Magnavox Odyssey, the first home video game console, released in 1972. Developed by Ralph H. Baer, the father of video games, the Odyssey offered simple games like table tennis. It laid the foundation for the home gaming industry, despite its rudimentary graphics and lack of sound. In 1977, Atari launched the Atari 2600, which popularized cartridge-based games and brought iconic titles like Space Invaders and Pac-Man into living rooms across America. Its joystick and paddle controllers became legendary, and it set the stage for future gaming consoles with its innovative use of interchangeable game cartridges. The early 1980s saw the rise of the 8-bit era, dominated by Nintendo's NES, released in 1985, with games like Super Mario Bros., The Legend of Zelda, and Metroid. Nintendo redefined home gaming and set high standards for the industry. The NES's robust library and revolutionary controller design, featuring the now standard directional pad, cemented its place in gaming history. Around the same time, Sega introduced the Master System which, while not as successful as the NES, laid the groundwork for future Sega consoles. Its hardware was technically superior, offering better graphics and sound, but it struggled to compete with Nintendo's stronghold on the market. The late 1980s and early 1990s saw the epic 16-bit wars. Nintendo released the SNES in 1991, offering enhanced graphics and sound with Mode 7 technology that allowed for impressive scaling and rotation effects. Classics like Super Mario World, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, and Donkey Kong Country showcase the system's capabilities. Meanwhile, Sega Genesis launched in 1989, boasted a more mature gaming experience, with titles like Sonic the Hedgehog, Streets of Rage, and Mortal Kombat. The Genesis Blast processing marketing campaign and its focus on arcade-quality games created a fierce rivalry with Nintendo, culminating in the famous console wars of the early 90s. The mid-90s introduced the 32-bit and 64-bit era, Sony entered the market with the PlayStation in 1994, revolutionizing gaming with CD-based games that offered larger storage capacity and better graphics. Franchises like Final Fantasy, Resident Evil, and Metal Gear Solid became synonymous with the PlayStation brand, pushing the boundaries of storytelling and gameplay. Nintendo responded with the Nintendo 64 in 1996, featuring groundbreaking 3D games like Super Mario 64 and The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Its innovative analog stick and four-player capability made it a hit for multiplayer. The early 2000s brought the sixth generation of consoles. Sony's PlayStation 2, released in 2000, became the best-selling console of all time, with over 155 million units sold. Its DVD playback capability and vast library, featuring titles like Grand Theft Auto 3, Final Fantasy X, and Shadow of the Colossus, solidified its dominance. Microsoft entered the fray with the Xbox in 2001, introducing gamers to the Halo franchise and Xbox Live, a groundbreaking online service that revolutionized multiplayer gaming. Nintendo continued to innovate with the GameCube, offering unique games like Super Smash Bros. and The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, despite its unconventional mini-disc format. The seventh generation saw intense competition between the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and Nintendo Wii. The Xbox 360, released in 2005, was known for its robust online gaming service, Xbox Live, and blockbuster franchises like Gears of War and Halo. Sony's PlayStation 3, launched in 2006, offered powerful hardware and Blu-ray support, which helped drive the adoption of HD movies. Despite a rocky start, it gained momentum with hits like Uncharted, The Last of Us, and Gran Turismo 5. Nintendo's Wii also released in 2006, 
captivated a broader audience with its innovative motion controls, leading to massive success with casual games like Wii Sports and Wii Fit. The eighth generation brought us the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. The PS4 released in 2013 became a bestseller with a vast game library and critically acclaimed exclusives like God of War, Horizon Zero Dawn, and Spider-Man. The Xbox One also launched in 2013, focused on an all-in-one entertainment experience. Though it faced challenges with its initial DRM policies and higher price point, Nintendo's Switch released in 2017 combined home and portable gaming, achieving massive success with titles like The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild and Animal Crossing, New Horizons. Today, we are in the ninth generation of gaming consoles, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. Both released in 2020, offer unprecedented graphics, speed, and immersion, setting new standards for the future of gaming. The PS5e's fast SSD and innovative DualSense controller provide a new level of interactivity, while the Xbox Series X and S's backward compatibility and Game Pass service offer incredible value and access to a vast library of games. From the simple pixels of Pong to the breathtaking realism of today's games, the evolution of gaming consoles has been a remarkable journey. What's next for the future of gaming? Thanks for joining us on this trip down memory lane. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more history and news.